We're just gonna wing it. Shit. What's going on, guys? It's Nate again. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week's been insane. I've like, ah, uh, it's been a, it's been a, it's been one. Um, but I needed to post a video because I got a bunch of crazy stuff, and ah, um, uh, these ads have been paying off. I, I've been posting ads on like Nextdoor and you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not YouTube. Nextdoor, Facebook, Craigslist, OfferUp. Just looking to buy records, looking for records, looking for vintage audio equipment, and it's been insane. Um, one thing I did want to mention, there's a haul that I'm going to talk about in this video. I'm going to talk about it first, like right this second. Um, this guy posted on Craigslist. I hope everybody's week was good, by the way. Um, mine was like crazy. Um, and yeah, sorry for the different setup. It's not a lot of lighting. I thought this lamp worked. It doesn't work um, right now, I guess. So um, anyways okay so this guy sunday nights sunday night um i was scrolling on craigslist looking for stuff and um i saw this like these crazy pictures of this whole collection i'll i, I still have them screenshotted and i'll post them in the video but this dude was selling um like his whole beatles collection i'm not a fan of the beatles i like rubber soul and i like revolver but that's that's about it um, but yeah, he was selling his whole Beatles collection. So he had, um, like the box set with the CDs. He had, um, what, what he had old Parlophone stuff. I uh, like reissues, um, from 76, I guess it all came in a box set, but he didn't have the box set. He just had like singles. Um, I'm not like an avid, like I'm not a Beatlemania person, so don't crucify me on this stuff because I, I don't know because I really just don't like him. But um, anyways, he posted this deal on Craigslist. It was insane. It had 50 CDs, 17 LPs, a sealed Sgt. Pepper CD pack, like big box set thing. Um, and he posted it online. I got him down to 60 bucks for everything. Um, and then the next day I took it to my, my shop that I go to all the time, which is the In Groove in Phoenix. It's off like 34th Street in Thomas. Mike down there, super helpful and informative. Um, but yeah, this stuff had great, like the dude pulled each individual CD out and put it in its own CD pouch. So when it creased up the cardboard inserts on the box sets and like, he had all these like Dr. Ebbets, uh, Japanese bootleg, um, mobile fidelity, like sound lab, uh, CDs. I guess that like they, Mike was telling me actually, cause I was like, I, I'm pretty sure these are fake. Everywhere I've looked, the Beatles never pressed anything on CDs from um, like MoFi, like it's never been on CD. And he was like, yeah, yeah, these are bootlegs. Um, but they're sought after from certain collectors. So anyways, I sold it all to him um, and he took care of me very well. Um, it was a great deal. And I've just picked up like traded stuff, move stuff, flip stuff. And it's been a while since so what I'm going to show now, um, so that was the first, well, that was the first, that was the latest flip. Um, but then I also got a call from a lady who's uh, local to me. She literally lives a quarter of a mile down the road. She said she had a bunch of records, too many to take pictures of. Come on down and, you know, look at them with her. So I, I did that. I'm going to show those after I show what I got um, recently over at the In Groove. This has all been within like the past week. I've been on this crazy Pink Floyd kick. Um, and it's been rad and I'm, now I have like an upgraded cartridge on my turntable because I sold the Sony and then I flipped it and then I got a project they do carbon with the two with an upgraded 2M blue they usually come with the 2M reds um, and then I got a new Denon receiver like it and it's like I'm out of pocket everything like well nothing now everything's paid for so and I have a little bit of money in my pocket so that's tight so we're gonna start with the records that I got from the In Groove. I got uh, Japanese pressing saucer full of secrets by Pink Floyd. Awesome. Uh, I've been looking at it for a while. There's a vendor down there who, well, he's not a vendor. He's on consignment, um, and he had so many uh, Japanese pressings and stuff. It's 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 nutty. Um, we have the Final Cut Japanese pressing. Same vendor down at the In Groove, or the same consignment booth down there. Or bin. It's not really a booth. And we got Dark Side of the Moon Japanese pressing. Um, 
all with the the obies everything like it's this one doesn't have the posters in it but it does have the book the booklet in it which is pretty cool um so yeah that's like my most recent haul i also got like a mofi uh bob dylan in stereo what did i get i got the free Willing. it's the best record i've ever heard in my life on vinyl it's it's crazy what that does and now i think i'm like screwed because now I'm, it, I got bit by that uh, bug, I guess, where I'm just like, I'm in it now. Like I have to get like good quality stuff because I can tell the difference with my setup now. Before, I really couldn't. So yeah, now I'm screwed. Now I have to flip stuff to, to afford it. So now this collection, I wound up going to this lady's house. She's cool as hell. Um, I spent like an hour there. Her and I were just, she was in her seventies and she was just, telling me all these stories. Her husband recently passed away like two years ago and she was telling me all these stories about, you know, where they got these records and, you know, what her husband was, you know, how her husband met Jimi Hendrix on New Year's Eve back in New York and like just crazy stuff, you know? And, and you could genuinely tell this lady was just trying to pass on the torch um, and, and it was awesome. Um, she was like, you know, pick out whatever you want and then we'll go over the numbers later. And then, you know, I got like 80 LPs and uh, I'm not gonna show all of them right now. Just cause I, I just picked out a few that I figured would be worth showing. Um, there's some good ones in here. Um, but yeah, she was like, give me 20 bucks. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that to you because there's some in here that are quite more than that. And um, I genuinely enjoyed it and the opportunity. So let's get into it. We have Led Zeppelin, number two. It's all there, it's in great condition. Still got the sticker. None of them were in cellophane. This is printed on Atlantic. It's all in great condition. I was just listening to it. it sounds uh, sounds great. You know, it probably needs a bath, but it sounds good. We got Black Sabbath, self-titled. This one's gonna be on uh, Warner Brothers, like uh, the dark green label, or olive label. Great condition. Uh, it's not the gatefold, it's just standard. I think it's uh, just an early American pressing. It's a little split on the spine, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think I paid less than a quarter for each of these, so I'm not complaining. What do we got here? Yeah, this is what I'm stoked about probably the most. Songs inspired by the Lord of the Rings. It seems so crazy. Um, it's still got the cellophane, it's got the shrink, it's got the original like price sticker. I think it's what, 384. Um, the condition's great. Um, it, it's, it's so sick. I love the Lord of the Rings. Um, I grew up watching them. I remember being super stoked when they came out um, in theaters and you know, we went, I, I don't even know how many times I saw them. But yes, that is that is very sick. I'm very happy to have that. Neil Young, Harvest. Got the gatefold. Still got the lyric sheet. Finals in great condition. It's on reprise. Um, yeah, it's got the written out. Uh, Lyric sheet that folds out. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that was sick. Neil Young's great. Got a couple Neil Young. I think I actually picked up a couple from her too. This lady was telling me that her husband was the biggest Zappa fan that you would ever meet and that he would be very proud that he would get me introduced to Zappa. Zappa isn't like my main forte. I got nothing against the dude, but I just don't listen to Zappa. Um, but I bought all the Zappa that she had because she threw it in for free. So this is Zappa. This is, well, the Mother's Fillmore East, June 71. Great conditions on Bazaar. You know, there's ring wear and all that stuff, but, you know, bent up corners, a little split here. But the, the media, they took, they took really good care of their, their LPs. Uh, let's see. You got another Frank's, Frank Zappa. Uh, what is this? Oh, orchestra favorites. <laughs> Again, I'm not familiar with Zappa. It's on discreet. Vinyl's in great condition. This one's still in the uh, cellophane, so that's cool. I have a feeling, I thought I like ixnade the Zappa out of this just because there were so many. Um, the Mothers were only in it for the money. The Mothers of Invention. All this goodness in here. It looks like one of these pages, it was torn right here on the gatefold. Now uh, they tried to tape it up, but the vinyl again is in great condition. There's a backside. Yeah, Zappa Mothers. 
Roxy and Elsewhere. That's a double LP. On discreet. That one's already tucked away. Vinyl's in great condition. Again, standard ring wear. Little splits up at the top, but the vinyl's great. Oh, come on. This is going to be just a Zappa haul, I guess. Mothers of Invention. This one is uh, two LPs in a nifty 12 page book. This is Uncle Meat. This one is kind of, it's it's split on the bottom. So I'm gonna hold it up like this. Cause that LP is wanting to come out. But yeah, here's that guy. Again, they're nowhere near mint, but it's still sick for 25 cents. That's like below Goodwill prices. This is another Zappa. We got apostrophe on the street. This one's still in shrink. So that's cool. What else we got? Jesus Christ. We have more Zappa. The Mothers. Overnight Sensation. This is a double gatefold. This is a single LP, actually. So, but it is a gatefold. Um, this one's in pretty good condition, actually. The vinyl's great again. Um, but, yeah, this one's in... I don't know. I'm not a grader. I don't grade these things. So. Um, another Zappa. The Mothers of Invention. This is, uh, what is it? Weasels Ate My Flesh. Weasel, weasels ripped my flesh. Um, and, uh, this is on Reprise and Bazaar. It's like a split. Uh, I just need to pull like a stack of these out. There we go. All right. Now we're getting away from Zappa. Yeah, I think I got like eight total Zappa records from this lady. Um, we have Steppenwolf. This is the second. This one, it's a little torn up at the bottom. Finals in great condition. It's all flipped around in here though. Except with the original liner. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna deal with that later. This is our Earth, Wind, and Fire. This is a, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it in the video, but that is a gold stamp promo. It's pretty sick. It's a pattern over there. This one I'm really excited about. John Coltrane and the other village Vanguard tapes. This is really cool. She said she had a little bit of jazz and a little bit of blues. This is a double LP. Great condition. A little wear on the spine. A little split at the bottom. I ain't worried about it. We got Zeppelin. This is just Zeppelin. I, this is actually on my, it's on my turntable right now um, because I wanted to see how it sounded. I think this one's on the Atlantic as well. Got this one, it's a Zeppelin 4, but it's just Led Zeppelin. It was never officially called Zeppelin 4, I guess. We got Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Band. I got this, my buddy really likes this album. I don't, so that's gonna be his. This is actually, for this is sold already. Uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse. A little bit of ring wear on the cover there. This was just washed. Got great conditions on reprise little den here and there little ding nothing crazy really amped about this one no woman no cries one of my jams bob marley this is what is it natty dread yep natty dread there we go on uh what is this on island yeah island records great condition a little bit of ring wear on the bottom a little ding up on the top but again, I plan on keeping a, a lot of these. So this is Cream. This is just Rally Gears. Um, bottom split out. Other than that, vinyl's in great condition. I just cleaned this. This is on, yeah, it's on Atlantic. Or no, sorry, Atco. It's on Atco. All right. We got Elvis. Costello and the Attractions. This is Armed Forces. This is on Columbia. Same thing. A lot of these are going to have wear on the bottom. These people listen to their records, and I, I don't blame them. Like, that's that's what I do. So, this chair is about... There it is. Okay. All right. We got the Who. Like it. Leads. This one doesn't have the booklet. Um, the vinyl's in great condition. Again, I cleaned a handful of these. Uh, it does have ring wear and all that stuff. Um, cleaned a handful of them. Still got this guy on the back. I'm not a big Who fan. 
but nonetheless, it's tight. I want to save this one for last. I bought this one because I've been watching a lot of dots and loops and trying to get into psych. I'm trying to, I'm trying to just get into anything, really. I'm trying to find different genres. I'm trying to listen to more music. And um, I was like, what would dots and loops look for in this lady's basement? And uh, I don't know, he's always got these like ex eccentric, like trippy, very psychedelic covers. So I found this down there. Um, this is Captain Beyond. I think it's just their self, yeah, their self-titled. Um, but it is, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. This is the holographic version. It's all sorts of trippy. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely a psych band. This is on Capricorn. Definitely psych, trippy, like, I don't know. But it's, it's cool. Um, again, not really, not necessarily my thing, but I am learning. I am learning, and that's all, that's all that matters. We got Tower of Power, back on the streets, shit's tight. It's got a uh, gold stamp promo right there on the top left corner. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, Cheech and Chong. My dad loves Cheech and Chong. And so when I saw this, I had to get it. It's a comedy skit. I'm not really into like, I see a lot of Bill Cosby and Steve Martin albums and stuff when I go out. Um, I'm not really into comedy on LPs. I love watching stand-up, but not on LPs. But I got that because it reminds me of my pops. So, this is the Dennis Coffee Bin. Anything with the gold stamp there, I bought. Um, and this has a gold stamp. Vinyl's in great condition. I have yet to put this on. I have yet to listen to it. Some of these, I'm like, oh, I want to listen to it before I get it or whatever. But some of these, I want to I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt and listen to it on vinyl first because I really do think that there's certain music that should... Be experienced at least for the first time on on vinyl so you're not just I don't know, just listen to it on a record i guess this is jeff beck blow by blow for cellophane we got the it's not a hype sticker but it is a just the original price tag um it's in great condition it's got the inserts in here um I, yeah quadraphonic dramatic change in sound yeah, it's got instructions on how to set up your speakers so you can hear Jeff Beck just rip it. This is on Epic. Pretty sick. This is another Jeff Beck. This is Jeff Beck Group Rough and Ready. Original cellophane. All that good jazz. Um, same thing. We got the original on Epic. And we got the original liners in there too. So that's pretty sick. This is Sunny Fortune. Again, not familiar. It looked jazzy to me because um, he's got a big old saxophone on, his, on the back side of here. But again, it does have the gold stamp promo, not for sale, for promotional uses only. So that is here. This is sick. Blues and Jazz Festival, recorded by Otis Spann Memorial Field. Um, I love, I love, love, love blues. Um, I, I really do, so this is this could be dope to put on, chill out. I bought a cigar for it, so I'm, I plan on just chilling on my patio, smoking a cigar, and listening to some of that. Uh, we got Grand Funk. This one is on Capitol. It's on a lime green Capitol. Trying to get the funk going, you know? See what's happening with that. We got another, Closer to Home by Grand Funk. This is on Capitol. I think it's on the lime green as well. Yep, lime green, purple, black, and white. Again, the, uh, it's not in the best condition as far as, you know, the coverage are concerned, but, you know, when you're paying like 25 cents a pop, I got coworkers that'll buy them for five bucks, dude, and I would buy them for five bucks if I was out in the wild or wasn't willing to go out and look for records, I would go and I would pay five bucks for something I wanted if the cover was beat up. Why not? This is Jimi Hendrix. We got the Cry Love. Jimi Hendrix. This is all from the same lady. All from the same lady. Her name is Jody. And Jody is a damn saint. This is John Coltrane, Turning Points. This is on Bethlehem. Yeah. Really getting into Coltrane. Really getting into Davis. This is Spyro Gyro. Um, 
this is like another jazz band. Um, they're not really my thing. Um, we got, what is this? This shade of deep purple. We got the, what do we got? Little hype sticker right there. Teens a hit song, Hush. Boom. We're moving. I guess I'll just do all of them. May as well. Let's see. Screw it. This is Spooky Tooth, and this is the album Spooky Tooth. The cover's beat to piss, but the album is not. And it sounds really good, actually. I dig this band. It's like rock, like a garage rock. Like, it's just jammy. Like, I guess it may be psych. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a genre guy. But it's cool nonetheless. I'm glad I have it. This is CV Wonder. I love this. It's talking book. All the corners up here and in here. Down. Where's that? Right over here. Are in braille and then we have some I thought we had some more yeah we do and this is all in braille too um, ring wear all that stuff what is on Tamla Tamla Motown record Corp. a product of a Motown record Corp. this is tight see we wonder it's a legend so that is dope to have magical mystery tour this is like the fourth one I bought recently this one's in great condition it's on a green capital label this one However, all the other ones I've bought, and this one's fallen out. But all the other ones I've gotten in the past don't have nearly as many uh, of the little book uh, that's in here. The little, you know, them doing Beatles. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I got a coworker that wants that, so the coworker will get that. We got Earth, Wind, and Fire. Boom. Just baby making music is what this is. This is how thugs are born right here. Earth, Wind, and Fire. We got more Deep Purple in Rock. Boom, on Warner Brothers Grey label. This is a gatefold, poof, single LP. I don't know if I'm more of that things get old. I don't know what that is, but we'll get it off. This is Uriah Heap. This is, what is it, Wizards and Demons? More jazzy stuff. Got all that, or Demons and Wizards, I'm sorry. But we got the booklet, and then this actually, like a wizard, comes out like that. Boom. Really tight. I don't know. I'm trying a lot of jazz, trying to get into different things, so we'll see. This, though, is freaking sick. Um, this is, this is uh, what is it, John Lee Hooker? Yeah, it's John Lee Hooker and Can Heat. Uh, Can Heat. I like seeing I like seeing big dudes like myself out front just doing the damn thing for bands, dude. I think that's sick. This is a double LP. This is on. I don't know. You guys can probably see it up front. Oh, it's on Liberty. Okay. Double LP. Fantastic condition. Can Heat is sick. I get down with Can Heat. This is Heat Wave. I didn't know what it was, so I just scooped it. It's on Epic Heat Wave Hot Property. Maybe some funk. It's got hype stickers. It's got price tags on that bad boy so that's cool original cellophane we got the esoteric circle this one's kind of tight jazzy stuff maybe not it's on flying dutchman i don't know if it's jazz i don't know if it's smooth jazz i have no idea we got more uh, santana i have this already but santana's tight i was just watching his woodstock performance last night um you know from back in the day and Cool shreds, dude. Dude slept on for sure. All right. We're about like a quarter of the way through. <laughs> In memory of Cannonball Adderley is early great recordings. This is on Mercury. Here, this one was printed in the Netherlands. Um, this is stereo, but um, I mean, it's tight. Again, I just wanted to get wanted to get things I didn't know of, and you know, expand. I think that's the best time to expand is when you only have to pay like twenty five cents a pop. It's a little bit of ELO. Got the bottom sticking out there. My wife likes ELO, so I figured I'd scoop it up. We got what is this? Kingfish. <clears throat> Again, don't know who the hell it is. It's on Round Records. I was like, dang, that looks kind of crazy. It looks like Thor, but maybe like a uh, mermaid Thor. Or not Thor, Poseidon. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Man, 
finish is so much stuff. Or, yeah, no, actually, that was it. Okay. Yeah, there was like a Peter Frampton album. And we got this guy right here. Another promo that I dug out of there. This is... Uh, I don't even want to butcher it. I don't know. This guy probably shreds on the guitar, though. Uh, it's another gold stamp promo. Okay. I don't know how many that was. I know there's more out in the living room. I'm, I'm spetsing, so you know that that was worth it. There's one more. I posted an ad. In that ad, this lady responded. She said, hey, I have a bunch of records. I don't want them. They're in my way. Come and get them out of my house for free. And I was like, are you sure you don't want me to give you any money? She was like, I'm positive. I don't want you to give me anything. I want you to get them out of my house. I was like, that's sick. I'll come and get them. And there are like 20 records. Or, no, probably like 40 records. And um, yeah, a lot of it was just trash. Um, but this wasn't. This my my lovely people oh, 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 oh i need to get a sleeve for it because it's beat to this this is alan wolf sings the blues it's the og it's original it's split up to piss it was stacked up on uh, underneath a ton of records ton of records and it's split it's all messed up um i played it i cleaned it i cleaned the vinyl let me try to pull it out of here without ripping this thing anymore Printed on Crown. Yeah. And it plays in hi fi, so it, it, well, it's, I guess it's like mono, technically, is what it would be playing in, because it's not stereo. Um, but yo, it may, I don't even think it's worth that much money. But even if it was worth a lot, like I love, I love Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters. I remember when I was in high school. In the history of rock and roll i had a history of rock and roll elective class and it, it just brought it all back to how all the music that i listen to nowadays is all influenced by that man by that man robert johnson muddy waters Helen wolf bb king like all these people you know like sabbath sabbath started off as like a blues band right that's what they're inspired to be Zeppelin, like Jimmy Page, hundred percent bit, uh, like all of their music off of blues musicians. Which, you know, whatever. That's a whole nother conversation. I like Led Zeppelin, but my point is, is that blues is the is the music of music, in my opinion. This is just this this is just me showing how much I love that album. That album is it's phenomenal. Not even just that album in particular. The genre in and of, in and of itself is just. It's just great. I, I encourage every single person to listen to Blues, Howl of Wolf, Muddy Waters, Robert Johnson, go listen to all his. I think he only did like 40 tracks total. <clears throat> his story is great. There's an Instagram or a Netflix documentary about him where they actually talk to like his family, his living family and stuff like that. And his, you know, they trace down who his son was and all this crazy stuff, man. It, it's very interesting. Um, I don't think he gets enough credit. But hey, that's just me. Um, yo, know, again, this was a crazy, crazy week. This is like half of it. Um, I love this shit, man. And it's crazy because I went out on Saturday. I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some videos of me going out live and all this stuff. There just wasn't time. Like there, I was, I was up at three thirty in the morning on Saturday going out. Um, getting ready because here in Arizona it's like a hundred today and tomorrow is supposed to be 115 degrees so it's hot it's very very hot so people get started at like people are starting yard sales at 5 a.m. so you know I'm getting up getting ready doing my thing and there was nothing dude there, there was absolutely nothing that I got that whole day I got like a tripod but that's like not pertaining to this I guess it's for my wife but yeah and I got a cassette deck for free that didn't work but that just goes to show when there's not shit, there's usually something right around the corner. Because that same thing, I was out hunting on Sunday, nothing. And then that lady had those records, or uh, that guy had uh, that whole Beatles stack and turned those around in 24 hours, you know. And I'm not doing this to make obscene amount of money or to exploit anybody or do anything stupid. But and even if I was, I mean, it's a free, fair market, go and do your thing. But... 
I just love records, man, and I, I wanna I wanna be able to collect as money as I can, and it gets expensive. So I figure, you know, flip up until I can get what I want, and that's what I've been doing, and it's been working out great. Everybody's happy. So the Instagram's kicking desert underscore dog d a w g underscore vinyl desert dog vinyl. It's sick. You know, we're getting up to like I think like two hundred followers. It's dope. I try to post you know, at least every other day or so, um, and try not to make it so monotonous, they could just seem like a record and stuff like that, and trying to post, you know, and engage, like, to, um, interact with people and shit like that in my stories to keep things interesting, I want to, I want to hear how you guys are doing, I want to see where you guys are shopping, I want to see your guys' hauls, I want to see where you're listening to, because I want to listen to it probably too, I want to check it out, so, but yeah, thank everybody. I, I, I thank everybody very, very, very much for checking it out. Dylan over at Noble Records for letting me blow him up on Instagram. Freaking out about me going in. Uh, I was tripping about that Beatles deal. I was like, this fool's going to probably, I'm going to go over to his house and he's going to stab me or something. Um, but yeah, no, he uh, he assured me, you know, it was a good deal. So I would go and scoop it up. And sure enough, it was. He's been very helpful. Um, even dots and loops with that Captain Beyond record, you know, I thought of him, so I'll probably hit him up for his P.O. box or some shit and send it on out to him, and we'll see. Um, but the vinyl community is dope. I, I really appreciate it and love it and grateful for it. And Mike and all those people that go and bombard with uh, monotonous questions and just being repetitive and being a noob, um, they never... You know, they never seem annoyed and they're they're always adamant to help. So I'm grateful for this community. I'm grateful for this channel. I'm grateful for every single one of you. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Blessings always.